in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my favorite route combinations out of the trip side information. The specific route combination is going to do a pretty decent job at attacking some of the meta ways that people are defending trip side in right now, including the dollar DB Fire 2. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member today. It's only 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, I like to run this play as a kind of freestyle play. Um, but if you don't have Hot Route Master, if you don't have Slot Apprentice, right, um, you can do this. You can do this out of uh, Curl Flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Curl Flat on my audibles. But ideally, you would be in a play action play because play action is going to dumb out some of the pressure concepts uh, that people can do. I'm in New England or uh, I'm in Detroit today, but you could do this out of New England very easily. Same place. <clears throat> um, and probably better run game. But anyways, here's the setup. So the way most people like to defend at a dollar, and I've talked about this on the channel, is they're going to do some variation of basically cross manning you to death on the right. And then they're going to basically try to lurk in between the tight end. They're going to try to lurk right in this little area. So essentially against like slant post, they're going to lurk the tight end. Then they're going to jump down to the slant or they might stay on the tight end, but this is the basic idea, okay? Now on the right side, typically you're gonna get some type of third over the top as well. Um, and then that's pretty much the defense. Like this is pretty much how people are defending trips tight end right now. So how do I like to attack it? Really with this setup right here. So what we're gonna do um, is we're going to drag our tight end across the middle of the field. That's gonna force them to have a hard flat on the left side of the screen, okay? Then we're going to have our, our uh, solo or outside trips receiver on a C route. Um, that's going to beat man coverage. Okay. And that's going to force some type of outside third or some type of bracket concept on that side. Then what we're going to do over the middle of the field is we're going to invert slant post. And instead of running it um, with, instead of the tight end being on the slant or the post, he's going to be on the drag. And then Barry is going to be on a post. And then Cromartie, what I like to do is put him on a slant and motion him across. So you see, this is what the player looks like. Now, the important piece of this is the main route you want to hit is that tight end drag coming across the middle, if you got what I just saw right there. Or depending on, again, a lot of it is depending on how that cloud flat is going to play. Is that cloud flat going to jam? Is that cloud flat going, you know, like what is he doing? Okay. Now, Again, typically what's going to happen is they're going to send four. They might send five. If they send five, you're going to have more stuff open um, earlier. Okay, your tight end's probably going to be a lot more open. But anyway, and again, this isn't the only play you would run against. This even is one play you can run to really do a good job. So you, and you can snap this like right in here if you want. So you see here, if he gets a free release on the C route, that, that can be um, a nice route for you over the top against this style of defense. So... Now, if you think about it, what are they going to have to do? They're going to have to put some help over there. So this is either going to be a cloud flat or it's going to be a deep third. Rarely is it going to be a hard flat, okay? Then if you think about it, their cross man is going to look something like uh, this right here. Now, um, and again, this guy typically is going to be in a third. He might be in a cloud, but typically it's going to be in a third. Okay, so now if you think this through, this motion uh, slant route is one of the best routes in the game this year. And the reason is because it's one of the more consistent things we have um, at attacking man coverage. So if you look at this against man, he's going to light up. You can throw that. He's always going to win. He's always going to get that animation on that specific style of cross man. Now, again, depending on who you're playing, they might give you a, an adjustment setup. Once you motion, they might kind of tweak how they're doing their adjustments. So let me give you an example of that. So, an example of what that might look like is something like this. So you see here, um, now, like there's nobody on triangle because we're gonna motion him across in just a second. So what they might do is say, hey, uh, this outside corner, why don't you guard, uh, why don't you guard the motion receiver? So if they do something like that, okay, now what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to hit your post over the middle of the field. And that's where curl flat uh, really comes in handy. So you can do this out of curl flat as well. I like the slot apprentice post a little bit better just because it's a little bit more uh, consistent, but you could run it just like this at a curl flat and, and kind of get the same basic result. So essentially here, 
you're looking for that drag first if that if and really this is just a another version of a shallow cross concept but it's a type of shallow cross concept that's really good against cross man at a dollar uh which is what we're getting a lot like most people are getting this this specific adjustment set up now you could run it like this as well um if you wanted to give that post a little bit more room to maneuver over the middle you could do something like this and then try to highball that post over the middle of the field. Again, kind of depending on who are they putting their best cover players on. Uh, for example, a lot of times what people will do is they'll do something like this right here. And then this guy who's manned up on triangle, maybe he only has like deep route knockout. Like he doesn't have inside shade or, or something like that, right? So if they give you something like that, um, then that's where this can actually come in handy as well. So what you can do is you can go to PA slot corner and basically do the exact same setup, but now you have a sharper post and the sharp cutting post is gonna do a really good job. Whoops, I motioned the wrong guy. Um, it's gonna do a really good job of, of beating man coverage, of beating the cross man because their best man coverage player, okay? Their best man coverage player is manned up on Eric Berry on the slant, okay? So now he's kind of a bait and then now you have this isolation right here, and that could be a potential big play for you. So this is more of a conceptual thing um, that you can do to really attack what a lot of people like to do. Because a lot of people are trying to sit on this tight end on a post. When you put this tight end on a drag, specifically when you have something else coming backside with it. So what I like to do, um, and you could do this, you, the, the real beauty of this is you could do this too. So like let's say they did something like this you can run these this route combo as well off of it same basic idea same basic principle they go vertical it leaves this wide open in the flat and gives you a really good chance at a big game so this is my favorite way right now uh to counter db fire to cross man out of dollar out of trips tight end thanks for watching the video for more on this make sure to become a patreon member today it's only ten dollars to sign up and it'll get you access to all of my mad 23 offensive and defensive ebooks Thanks for watching. Make sure to go join the Patreon. It's in the link down in the description.